You're watching the Sony Legion TV Network. What's poppin' people? I'm Rated D and I've tested positive for swag. And in this video, I'm just gonna say what everyone is thinking and a lot of people seem to be afraid to say because it's kind of an unpopular opinion right now. Um, the Nintendo NX will take a massive diarrhea dump all over the Xbox One. And not just the standard Xbox One, but it'll take a dump on the Xbox One Slim, and it will take a massive dump all over the Scorpio as well. Now let me explain why this is the case. First off, Nintendo actually has games! Imagine that! A console is supposed to play games, right? And Nintendo make games! Microsoft, they make Xbox One and PC exclusives. Th that's not any sort of exclusive, that, that's just exclusively not on other consoles. It's not an exclusive, Microsoft. Because I have, everyone has a computer. If you have a decent PC, you can play a lot of these games. You know, you don't need to buy an Xbox One. Whereas with Nintendo and Sony does this as well, you can get actual exclusives for these consoles. Imagine that. And that's exactly why Sony is kicking Microsoft's butt right now. And that's exactly why the NX is going to take a massive dump all over everything Xbox related. Because Nintendo has games. Okay? Even if the Wii U was a disappointment in a lot of people's eyes, and I myself was not particularly happy with it, um, you still had games for the Wii U. I mean, look at Splatoon. And that brings me to another thing. What about Splatoon? Nintendo fans buy their exclusives. Look at the sales for Splatoon, especially with the install base. Compare that with the sales for the overhyped Quantum Break. Quantum Break flopped, not just in sales, but in reviews as well, whereas Splatoon was a big hit, a brand new IP. People bought it, and it reviewed well. So, Nintendo games, they review well, and Nintendo fans buy games. It's not like Xbox where their games are overhyped, and then end up being mediocre to horrible. Uh, and, and Xbox fans don't even buy games anyway. I, I mean, uh, just a few weeks ago, there was a, a guy that posted uh, about how, I believe he worked for 343, he posted how the sales for Halo 5 were, I believe, two-thirds of what they had expected it to sell. This is Halo. And it can't even sell uh, according to Microsoft's expectations. So, like I said, Nintendo has games, they have actual exclusives. Microsoft, they don't have any exclusives for Xbox. Moving on now, the hardware. The Nintendo NX will be about two times more powerful than the Xbox One standard, according to rumors. Obviously, things can change, but that's according to the latest rumor we had that it's going to be about as powerful as the PS4 Neo. On top of that, that means that the NX is also going to be about twice as powerful as the Xbox One Slim. The Xbox One Slim is a little bit more powerful than the standard, so the NX is still going to be a large chunk more powerful than the Slim. And then you have the Scorpio. Well, yes, the Scorpio may be much more powerful uh, than the other Xboxes, but it still doesn't have any exclusives. You know, so the Scorpio is going to be set to die. Um, and then when you have Sony, you guys can't forget, Sony is also competing with Microsoft here. You know, it's almost like Sony is the main competitor of Microsoft. So Sony is going to annihilate these new Xboxes. And then you have Nintendo coming in with a brand new system, which is going to generate a ton of hype. You know, how can Microsoft even touch Nintendo and Sony? How? They can't do it. And the other thing is this. The, the NX is supposed to come out spring of next year. Right, spring of 2017. The Neo is supposed to come out either at the end of 2016 or early 2017. Both of these consoles are going to have a large install base and a lot of hype before 
the Scorpio can even come close to release. So the Scorpio is literally set to die. I don't understand what in the world Microsoft is doing. I, I really don't get it. It's almost like they want the Xbox division to, to totally die off. But, but that's the thing, is that Nintendo and Sony are going to slaughter Xbox together, which is how it should be, because Sony and Nintendo actually care about gaming. Microsoft, they admitted they only got into gaming in order to try to beat out Sony. Keyword there, try. And we saw that last gen, we saw that the Wii was in first place, the PS3 came up in second place, and the Xbox 360 ended up in third. So Microsoft has still never beat out Sony. And clearly the Wii took a massive dump on the 360 as well. So now, like I said, you know, the NX is going to come up and it's going to generate a ton of hype. And Xbox, they can't do anything. They just can't do anything. So, and like I said, when you got Sony killing it right now as well, there's no way Microsoft can do anything. Like I said, Sony and Microsoft are main competitors right now. They have very similar products. Nintendo's going to come up with something new generate tons of hype when Sony's killing Microsoft as it is and Nintendo's coming up with a new uh, piece of hardware how can Microsoft even hope to do anything I mean I, I question if there's even going to be another Xbox console really and, and like I said that's how it should be because Sony and Nintendo care about gaming and Microsoft doesn't but anyway that, that's really all I have to say for this video guys Nintendo has games Nintendo has the hardware Nintendo has the the supportive fan base that actually buys games and Xbox has nothing really uh, what does Xbox have you sell two-thirds uh, of projected sales for your biggest game <laughs> absolutely embarrassing anyway that's it for this video guys keep it frosty